Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Whitney and I'm here today to talk to you about the MJS pickups I have installed in my Yamaha Revstar. I'm a working guitarist like many of you and like many of you my career has covered a vast range of genres and styles. I started playing in cover bands and bars and corporate events at the beginning of my career. While I was doing that I was also playing for original artists here in Canada. I've toured with bands ranging in style from hard rock to heavy metal, pop, alternative, and most recently I've started playing country music. Last year I had the opportunity to audition and then join Thomas Rhett's band, and I've been on the road with him ever since. Part of the job of a sideman is to have the tones that the act requires at your fingertips. This Yamaha Revstar, in conjunction with the MJS pickups, gives me the sound of other mahogany styled what appear to be like two humbucker guitars. That's something we'll talk about a little bit later. What drew me to MJS pickups though was the clarity, definition, and authenticity in the sound that I'm getting. I know when I pick up this guitar exactly what it's going to sound like. The strings are going to ring out evenly and clearly and be balanced. And I know that no matter what situation I might find myself in, MJS's customer service is going to be second to none. In the neck position of my Revstar here, I've got the MJS split single pickup, which runs at 7,500 ohms and uses Alnico 5 magnets. The great thing about this pickup, and what I really, really love, is that it sounds like a big open single coil, but it's hum canceling. The way that it, this works is that there are two separate three pull piece coils in the pickup that are sort of set up kitty corner. So it creates that hum canceling effect, but retains that big single coil sound. In the bridge position, I've got the MJS Hum 4. This is a ceramic magnet pickup that runs at 13,700 ohms. This pickup sounds similar to a lot of the 1970s pickups that are overly distorted, super you might say, and give us that big open singing rock and roll sound that we're looking for. Today I'll be using a Trainer Reverb Master amplifier with a PV5150 cab. I'll also be using a Barber Electronics Gain Changer to give me some overdrive tones in there. And if you hear any delay, that's going to be provided by a Line 6 Echo Park delay pedal. Alright, let's check out the split single in the neck position. Here's the middle position, a combination of the split single and the hum four in the bridge. Cool. Now on to the hum four in the bridge by itself. The cool thing about the Revstar as well, and this can ha happen on any guitar, is that there's a little ca capacitor in here, Yamaha calls it the dry switch, and it basically just reduces a little bit of the bass content in the pickup. So let's listen to those again with the dry switch pulled out. Here's the split single in the neck. So that's with the dry switch, here's with just the straight up pickup. Just a little more bass content. Up again. Middle, middle position. No dry switch. Dry switch. Here's the hum four in the bridge. Just the hum four, no dry switch. With the dry switch. Cool. All 
All right, here's some sounds with some overdrive. Like I mentioned before, I'll be using the Barber Electronics Game Changer. So here's the split single in the neck with some overdrive. Here's a combination of the split single and the hum four. And here's just the bridge hum four by itself. This is rock and roll. Once again, my name is Nathan Whitney. Thank you for checking out this demo video of the MJS split single and hum four pickups in my Yamaha Revstar. Make sure to check out all the other videos on MJS Custom Pickups YouTube channel. See you later.